Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Salami Baguette on this YouTube channel and today we continue the quest to find out which game has the most toxic player base and as you may have noticed, we are diving into Red Dead Online. We are conducting a very simple test. How long can you survive in Red Dead Online before getting killed by a player? And these rules are slightly different than the GTA Online challenge. 1. No minimap. 2. No cheesing, so no hiding in buildings or anything that gives you invincibility or a loading screen. 3. No help from anyone. 4. Varmin rifle and cattlemen only. And lastly, spin the wheel. The wheel of misfortune sends us to a specific place to perform a very simple task. First, we have to kill 10 different animals which forces us to move around in the area and secondly we have to kill one made up legendary bounty and after that's done we can spin the wheel to go to the next location now without further ado let us dive into this shit show oh and smash like and leave recommendations for more love you moi. spin the wheel spin the wheel Valentine. Valentine, eh? Hop on on the horse, eh? We're going to Valentine, boy. Valentine it is. It's time horse to begin the long trek. Alright, are we nearly there yet? I don't know. Everything there is... Uh, all I see is trees. Maybe on top of this hill we'll see a little bit more. More fuck, and more trees. Stop, horsey. Horsey, stop. Straight. What do you mean straight? Go, le go left. Oh. Are we coming, peace? Alright. No, no funny business here. Alright. Uh, just, just lonely travelers. Oh, heading down to Valentine. Fucking, my horse is broken. What is he doing? Oh my god! Look at that! How is this horse hungry Where are again? you going? Just follow the fucking road, after. Why, you said right! I just go over the fucking- Oh, you're gonna kill us or just- Cactus! Oh. This is not- the ah, this is not And here we are. Valentine, a central hub of commerce, bounty hunters, and other fuckery that might see us end the challenge very early. The legendary bounty in Valentine is the entire chicken population. Luckily, we've arrived in the middle of the night and there's no place nor danger to be found. And we decided there's no better time to hunt for cock than right now. Now in the deep dark night. See if we can scratch this one of the list right now. Like all the cocks are sleeping. Oh, there it is, there it is. See that? That's where the fucking cocks are at. Armed with nothing but a vomit rifle and a lamp, we went sneaking around, but no luck. The cock hotel was empty, but we swiftly move on with killing ten other animals. And luckily, there's plenty of nocturnal animals lurking about. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, got it, got it. Wrap it, God damn it! shoot it. Keep shooting it. It's still alive. It's still got some five left in it. Holy shit. Oh, there we fucking. <laughs> Hell yeah. Three, two, one, fire. Little skunk! <laughs> Three down. That's a squirrel. Mm, that's good. There's a raccoon there. Got it. Good. Right. Halfway done. Morning came and we started cooking up some breakfast. But with morning came a host of players. Yeah, wahoo. How are you doing today, Sean? You feeling all right? That's a good horse you got there. Yeah, you're looking to sell that horse today. I wouldn't mind a new horse, son. Holy shit, look at it go. Our mind's a bit broken. Keeps walking sideways. Well, a good day to you too, son. You have a good day now. Stay safe out there. You know, you never know what's going to come, come for you. There ain't no threat. Ain't no threat, son. You never know. I'm going to fucking die. He's going to shoot me. No, no. Hey, how you doing today? Feeling all right? Oh, there's a lot of plays here. <laughs> oh, no. Calm oh, now, Horsey. Oh, calm down now. Oh, you're a good girl. You're all good. You're a real pretty girl too. You know that? A real pretty girl. Oh, I can see you're honest taking good care of you. Yeah. How you doing, sir? All uh, right, you stay safe out there. Be careful. I heard there's some banditos going around shooting up the town. All uh, right, you look like you can fend for yourself quite nicely. <laughs> so stupid. All right. The town's cleared up a bit. It's now or never to hit a legendary cock bounty. And lo and behold, they are everywhere. We lined ourselves up and... Got him. Oh, come on, just start prepping. Oh, okay, well, I guess that works too. Done. Absolute murder, but then... Yes. Oh, nothing right. going on here, sir. Oh, there's nothing going on here, sir. We're all good and well. Well, thank you for checking up. I just needed to, you know, choke the chicken. I grabbed my cock and I got the fuck out of here. <laughs> Holy shit, close one. Luckily, the blaze in Red Dead Online are a lot more chill. I feel if we were in Grand Theft Auto, we would probably died about ten times at this point. It was time to leave Valentine. 
and in order to do that it was first time to finish the challenge. We went up to the mountain behind the town to find the last few animals. I got him. You fucking shit! Hit fire! Come on! Stop you fucking <laughs> <laughs> looks so fucking stupid. So far, we've had plenty of interactions with interesting folk from all walks of life. And the interesting thing about Reddit Online's player base is no one is out here to grieve yet. Spin, Spin the, the wheel. wheel. Elysian pool. One beaver. One singular beaver. All right, let's fucking go. Welcome back to uh, Reading Road Signs with Sonny Evans in today's episode. No, that's left. Howdy there. Whoa, whoa, whoa now. Uh, no need for that. No need for them guns now. Easy now. My horse is easily startled and also a little... What is this fucking horse doing? It's just dragging its ass on the fucking ground like a dog on a carpet. Where even are we now, Evans? I don't know. I follow a map typically. Just well, yeah. I just follow roads. If we would have just followed the board, the side would no, no, no. This is Get it. Back. Why would I check the map? Because this is a lake. Yeah. You've, you, you've definitely been checking your map. There's no fucking what? way. No, 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 no. Honestly, no, no, I've not been checking my map. Well, there is no it. way that you have any idea where the fuck Elysian <laughs> Pool is. Elysian Pool. The legendary bounty is a beaver. Now, this was a huge issue, because little did I know there aren't any beavers here. But let me tell you something. No beavers would be the least of our concerns, for something devastating to morale was going to happen here very soon. First things first, we have to work for those 10 animals. Now, luckily, wildlife isn't sparse here. There's lots of fishies, birdies, and other creatures. Granted, they are all sick. Apparently, someone has been shitting in this water, but when you are surviving in the wild, you gotta make do with what you find. And thus, our adventure began, and it led us straight into this cave. And here we found our first snack, a tiny little bunny. Rabbit meat is very nutritious, and this will see us through the challenge. We went through exploring the cave, for a little while, but there was nothing else edible in here. Holy shit. Holy shit, look at this. It's something this has never been found before. This is 100% been found before, especially because it's single player. You have no, to get no, a collectible here. Come on, stop breaking the fucking illusion that we found something <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Shut up. Wow, I've never seen this before, Sonny. Wow, incredible. Thank you so much for finding this. Oh my. Look at that. I've eh? really explored something new. Look at that. Oh wow. That's beautiful. I, I got a tear in my eye. Wow. Emotional stuff indeed. Oh, what was that? Did you hear that? No, 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 no pulling your leg now. I heard something. Oh, what was that? I actually saw something. I actually, what the fuck was that? Oh, it's more rats. Eh, oh, riding the shit water. Riding the smoke shots. Nighttime came and with it, nocturnal animals like this sickly fox this diseased coyote and lastly oh boy a diarrhea riddled pigeon ladies and gentlemen tonight we dine well but then oh well damn God damn it. And just like that, I splatted off the rocks, but that would not ruin the fun. No, now it's time to find a beaver. And since we cannot find the animal beaver, we'd have to make do with the beaver that can be found upon the female species of human. And so we ventured into Oklahoma to find ourselves a beaver. And there on the riverbanks, a gorgeous specimen. We need to subdue the beaver and then drag her out of her natural habitat. And so it was said, and thus it was done. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, I guess I've come uh, this far now. Okay. <laughs> there was little resistance as we ran over the banks as we tried to see a player. But here, here is where all shit was about to hit the fan. Oh, what are you looking for, ma'am? Maybe we can help you. I was awestruck. What a beautiful woman and my future flashed before my eyes. A little house on the prairie, two kids named Joan and Annie. A dog named Stu, but there was one issue. I was literally dragging an unconscious woman over my shoulder. Yeah, oh my god, Jesus her. Christ. The beaver what? has been presented. Well, look at that. It's a fine looking horse you got there, man. One of these days, one of these days, I'll, you know, I'll be able to buy one myself. Look at the cojones on that one as well. Holy moly. Stay safe out there. There's a lot of banditos around. Around town, shooting up the place and whatnot. You gotta be careful of those kidnapping women. Can't be having that now. Hey, hold. Wait. What? Where? Pick it. Yeah, where, you, where you think you're going, bitch? Oh shit, no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. 
No, I don't. Ow! Did you see that? Tragedy. The girl rode away on her horse, laughing at what she had just seen, and I looked a fool evermore. And I will forever have to live with the shame. We finished the animal challenge, and we finally got to leave Elysian Pool. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. With a fucking tumbleweed. Press left control! God what damn What are you it. feeding it? I just got bitch slapped. Get out of the goddamn way! Oh, take a left, you said, hey? We are now nearing the one and a half hour mark, and so far, I'll give Red Dead Online this. It's a lot more chill than GTA Online. People mind their own business and seemingly do not want to be outlaws or criminals, which is surprising, because wasn't this supposed to be a game about being an outlaw? Regardless, we are not here to critique Red Dead Online. We are here to gauge how long we can survive without getting killed by players. It's just... And so far, the biggest danger is everything but the players. We are here in Tumbleweed. The legendary animal is a dragon, so we went out and about and went hunting. Alright, dragon inspection. Well, that looks like a fucking dragon if I've ever seen one. The town did its name justice and there was no player to be found. Thus, it was time to move on. Blackwater. Legendary animal, the cougar. He went the wrong way. Shut up. We waste no time. We head out to the Great Plains. Time to go hunt for some fresh meat. But then, Red and Online finally threw a curveball and let me tell you, this was not looking good. Hunted, dead or alive, for five dollars and nine cents. Oh, I ain't got that money. <laughs> Being we're being pursued by the hunters. We're gonna survive for like five minutes suddenly. Okay, okay, okay. Where do we go? We ran back to Blackwater in the distance. Thunderous hoofs of the bounty hunters. They are coming. Is what I would say if they actually came. No, I would love for this all to have led to an epic shootout, but the fact of the matter is, no one came. We sat on a rooftop for a while, and well, that was it. The only thing left to do is, I guess, kill the cougar. I don't know about you, but this one looks kinda feisty. <laughs> The cougar. Son de me. Over two hours in, and there was not a single sign of this challenge coming to an end. And for that, I tip my head to Reddit Online. But oh lord, I'll tell you one thing. At this point, we were so bored that we wanted this to end. We walked aimlessly over the cobblestone back alleys of this dimly lit city. But then, a horse. Maybe if we politely ask someone to put us out of our misery, maybe, just maybe. That might work. How are you faring today? Oh, oh my. Oh, you're a beautiful miss, aren't you? You look absolutely stunning tonight, miss. Has anyone ever told you that? Something about this here light brings out the beauty in your eyes. Now, you see, I've been looking for lands far and wide. I've been looking far and wide now. Not only for a woman, but also for someone to put me out of my misery. I gotta ask you one thing, miss. One thing and one thing only. Please shoot this fucking man on my right. Please do it. I, I beg of you. I've been stuck with this brick for the last three hours. I'm sick and tired of it. Yeah, get him out of here. Take him away. Oh no. Take him away now, miss. Thank you. <coughs> it's time to face away. I walk down the street. A thought crossed my mind. Read that online is about as toxic as Hello Kitty Adventures. And that, I guess it's a good thing. This beautiful big world that we've seen so much of. You roam around, you meet people, you make friends, you find love, you can laugh, you can live. Get you Evans! And you can die, I suppose. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a bit of fun watching this video. If you did, please feel free to drop a juicy one right on top of the like button. I love you all. I'll see you soon.